Well, hello, good people. Some pretty big news on the Invoke AI side. They've gone ahead and released version three officially. Once you scroll down a bit on the page, I'll leave a link in the description below. As always, you'll come across the installation instructions. Down at the bottom here, you're going to see the installer. You also may need to download Python, which I believe is 3.10.9. It's pretty straightforward. Just download the Python file, install it onto your computer. You really don't have to change any settings or anything. Just click OK and go. And obviously you'll need this Invoke AI installer. Go ahead and click this link and download it to your computer. Now, once you've downloaded the file, you can right click and extract it in the same folder. You want to double click inside the Invoke AI installation folder. The first thing you want to do is double click this file and click on run. You're going to get a registry editor pop up. Go ahead and click yes. Click yes again. We're going to double click on install.bat. Since this is a fresh install, you're going to get this notice. Click on more info and click on run anyway. We'll get into the command window here. You just have to press any key to start the installation. At this point, you're going to get this notice. The first thing it's going to ask you to double click this file, which we've already done. The next step you need to do here is to download this Visual C++ core library. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below for this. You'll be directed to this Microsoft page. We just need to scroll down. And for most of you that are on Windows, you want to click on this one. Simply save that in your downloads folder as well. Then we're going to double click the file and click on install. Now for me, I've already done this, so I'm going to close that. Lastly, you have an option here to change the location of where you want to invoke AI to be installed. Personally, I like it here under my user folder, so I'm going to click no. But for you, if you want to change that, hit Y and you'll be able to put the directory where you want to install Invoke AI. The next part is pretty straightforward. You have three options here, an NVIDIA GPU using CUDA, which is highly recommended. If you select number two and use only the CPU, it's going to take a while to generate images, not recommended at all. And the third one, I'm not sure what to choose. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to select number one, click enter. By the way, Invoke AI can run on as little as four gigabytes of VRAM. There might be some limitations to certain cards, but usually if you have a 2000 series and up, you should be fine. At this point, it's going to install a whole bunch of stuff. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone and let it run its course. Now we're going to come across some startup options here. Now, if this looks a bit intimidating, don't worry. It's really not that bad. They tell you at the top here what to do. It says use control N and control P to move to the next and previous field. So N for next, P for previous. Use cursor arrows to make a checkbox selection and space to toggle. So the first option you have here is where your output folder is going to be. I would suggest just leave it at its default. We're going to hit control N on the keyboard and you see that it switches to NSFW checker. I'm going to leave mine on. You could turn it off. It's totally up to you. I'm going to skip this part because you can do it later on, but this is basically for if you want to automatically download models directly from Hugging Face. If you're familiar with the tokens from Hugging Face, you can paste that in here. GPU management, I'll leave it at default. We'll leave precision on auto. This auto import folder, I'm going to leave it as is as well. I'm going to go ahead and just accept the terms here. I'm simply going to hit spacebar to mark it and use my arrow key to go down to next and click on enter. This is a bit different from the previous Invoke AI installations. You have the ability to download models directly right now. 
your control nits, LoRa's textual inversions. Again, I'm going to do all this stuff later, uh, except for control nits. I'm going to download that now just because this is a fresh installation. But for the models, I'm just going to download the standard 1.5 and the in-painting one. You also have the option to install Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 and the refiner here. So if you did that previous step, putting in the Hugging Face token, you should be able to download Stable Diffusion XL. Again, I already have that, so I'm gonna skip that part. We're gonna come back up here to the top and I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move over to control net. Might as well install all of these. Now, mind you, these are all just under five gigabytes in size. LoRa's and textual inversions, I'm gonna do them later. We're gonna go to the bottom here and apply changes and exit. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of files being downloaded. This is gonna take a few minutes. Grab a coffee, get some snacks and just chill out. Once it's done, you'll see here, Invoke AI Installation Successful. So we're going to press any key to continue, as it says. And you want to go to your Invoke AI folder. In my case, it's local disk C. Users, my name, the Invoke AI folder is located here. We're going to double click it. Now for me personally, I don't like to keep going into this folder. So I right click, click on Show More Options. And then we're going to send this to the desktop. That way I have it here on my desktop every time I want to start up Invoke AI. So we can just double click this. And now it's going to give us some options. We don't have to go over this now. We just want to select one so that we can start up the UI. I'm going to hit enter. Next we want to highlight this URL. Just hit control C to copy it. And in your browser of choice, you just got to paste it into the URL there. And now we have Invoke AI. Congratulations, you survived the installation process.